Dear friends, this video is discuss about key performance indicator of construction equipment. Useful to professional working in construction and mining machines. We will discuss about A. Importance of monitoring B. Definition of key performance indicator C. Why key performance indicator is need to be monitored D. What are significant key performance indicator for construction equipment now we will start presenting different topic. A. Introduction, importance of monitoring. Monitoring is important for various reasons across different contexts, whether it be in business, technology, health, environment, or other fields. Monitoring is essential for maintaining efficiency, preventing problems, ensuring compliance, enhancing decision-making, and achieving overall success in various domains. It provides a foundation for improvement, growth, and sustainability in both individual and organizational settings. For successful change for improvement, we need to know 1. Where we are Measurement 2. Where we plan to be Evaluation 3. How can we get into track Correction Monitoring is important due to following 1. What can be measured, will be understood better. 2. What can be measured, can be assessed. 3. What can be measured, can be managed. 4. What can be measured, can be improved. B. Definition of Key Performance Indicator, KPI. A key performance indicator, KPI, is a measurable and quantifiable metric used to evaluate the performance and success of a specific activity, process, or organization in achieving its objectives and goals. KPIs are essential tools for businesses and organizations to track, track progress, assess performance, and make data-driven decisions. Key characteristics of KPIs include 1. Measurability KPIs must be quantifiable and based on objective data, allowing for consistent and reliable measurement. 2. Relevance KPIs should directly align with the strategic objectives and goals of the organization or specific project. 3. Time-bound KPIs are often tracked over specific time periods, example daily, weekly, monthly, or annually, to monitor progress and identify trends. 4. Actionable KPIs should provide meaningful insights and guide decision-making processes. They help identify areas for improvement or optimization. 5. Specificity KPIs should be clearly defined, leaving no room for ambiguity in their interpretation. 6. Contextual KPIs gain significance when understood in the context of the overall business strategy or project scope. 7. Performance Threshold KPIs may have predefined target values or benchmarks to indicate the desired level of performance. Following is to be noted. 1. KPIs track performance against established key success factors. 2. KPIs are directly linked to the overall goals of the company. 3. Business objectives are defined at corporate, regional, and site level. These goals determine critical activities, key success factors, that must be done well for a particular operation to succeed. 4. KPIs are utilized to track or measure actual performance against key success factors. 5. Key success factors, KSFs, only change if there is a fundamental shift in business objectives. 6. Key performance indicators, KPIs, change as objectives are met, or management focus shifts. KPIs can vary widely across industries and business functions. For example, in sales, KPIs may include revenue growth, customer acquisition rate, or conversion rates. In manufacturing, KPIs could be production output, defect rates, or equipment uptime. The selection of KPIs is crucial for monitoring progress, progress setting goals, and driving continuous improvement within an organization. C. Why Key Performance Indicator, KPI, is need to be monitored. Key Performance Indicators, KPIs, need to be monitored for several important reasons. 1. Performance Measurement. KPIs provide quantifiable and objective metrics to measure the performance and efficiency of construction equipment. Monitoring KPIs helps assess how well the equipment is meeting project goals and performance targets. 
2. Decision Making KPIs offer valuable insights into the equipment's strengths and weaknesses. By monitoring KPIs, project managers and equipment operators can make informed decisions about maintenance, resource allocation, and operational improvements. 3. Continuous Improvement Regular monitoring of KPIs enables construction companies to identify areas that need improvement. It helps them implement strategies to optimize equipment performance and enhance overall productivity. 4. Resource Optimization By tracking KPIs, companies can optimize the allocation of resources, including equipment, personnel, and time. This ensures that resources are utilized efficiently, leading to cost savings and improved project timelines. 5. Early Issue Detection KPIs can serve as early warning indicators for potential problems with construction equipment. By identifying issues early, companies can take preventive measures, reducing the risk of costly breakdowns and downtime. 6. Performance Benchmarking Monitoring KPIs allows construction companies to compare the performance of different equipment or projects, identify best practices, and set benchmarks for future projects. 7. Accountability and Transparency KPIs provide objective data to assess the performance of equipment operators and other stakeholders. This fosters accountability, encourages transparency, and supports fair evaluations. 8. 8. Goal Alignment KPIs help ensure that the equipment's performance aligns with the broader project objectives and organizational goals. If the KPIs are not being met, adjustments can be made to realign activities. 9. Compliance and Regulations Monitoring KPIs related to safety and environmental impact helps construction companies comply with regulations, industry standards, and environmental requirements. 10. Project Evaluation At the end of a construction project, monitoring KPIs allows for a comprehensive evaluation of the equipment's contribution to the project's success. This evaluation helps in learning from the experience and improving future projects. Monitoring KPIs for construction equipment is crucial for 1. Performance Evaluation 2. Decision Making 3. Continuous Improvement and 4. Efficient Resource Management It empowers construction companies to optimize their 1. Operations 2. Enhance equipment reliability, and 3. Achieve successful project outcomes. D. What are significant key performance indicators for construction equipment? Key performance indicators, KPIs, for construction equipment are essential metrics used to assess the effectiveness, efficiency, and overall performance of the machinery. These KPIs can vary depending on the specific type of construction equipment and the project's requirements. Here are some common key performance indicators, KPIs, for construction equipment. 1. Equipment Utilization Rate This KPI measures the percentage of time that the construction equipment is actively used for productive work compared to the total available working hours. A high utilization rate indicates efficient equipment management. Formula Utilization rate equal to total productive hours divided by total available hours, multiplied by 100. Total productive hours is the time when the equipment is actively used for productive work, excluding downtime, downtime, and maintenance periods. And total available hours is the total working hours in a given period, example, a day, week, or month. 2. Downtime percentage. Downtime is the period when the equipment is not operational due to maintenance, repairs, or other issues. Keeping track of downtime percentage helps identify areas for improvement in maintenance and operational practices. Formula Downtime percentage equal to total downtime hours divided by total available hours, multiplied by 100. Where Total downtime hours is the accumulated time when the equipment is not operational due to maintenance, repairs, breakdowns, or other issues. 3. Fuel Consumption Rate Monitoring the fuel consumption rate of construction equipment can provide insights into the equipment's efficiency and identify opportunities for fuel-saving measures. Formula 
Fuel consumption rate equal to total fuel consumption, liters, divided by total productive hours. Tracking fuel consumption helps identify equipment efficiency and potential fuel saving strategies. 4. Maintenance costs. This KPI tracks the overall maintenance expenses associated with construction equipment. Lower maintenance costs are indicative of well maintained and reliable machinery. This KPI includes all expenses related to equipment maintenance, such as parts replacement, labor costs, and servicing. It's important to track both planned maintenance costs and unplanned maintenance costs, repairs due to breakdowns. 5. Maintenance cost per unit versus budget. A measure of the maintenance effort required for a piece of equipment or plant to generate a unit of production. Formula equals Maintenance cost per unit equal to total maintenance cost divided by unit of production. Where Total maintenance cost includes total costed maintenance man hours, parts and any other costs associated with the maintenance effort, planned and unplanned. And un Unit of production will match the associated department's current unit. 6. Maintenance effectiveness a measure of the amount of maintenance downtime required to keep equipment or plant operating. Formula. Maintenance effectiveness equal to operating time debit dead by sum of operating time and downtime multiplied by 100%. Where? Operating time is productive time plus production delays. And. Downtime is the total time equipment or plant is down for maintenance work, preventive and corrective. 7. Maintenance Efficiency A measure of the maintenance effort required to deliver required performance levels from equipment or plant. Formula Maintenance efficiency equal to maintenance man hours divided by operating time multiplied by 100%. Where Maintenance man hours is the actual maintenance man hours spent maintaining an item of equipment or plant. Maintenance man hours includes maintenance wages, staff and contractor hours, preventive and corrective. And Operating time is productive time plus production delays. 8. Mean time between failures, MTBF. MTBF measures the average time a piece of equipment can operate before experiencing a failure. A longer MTBF indicates more reliable equipment. Formula MTBF equal to total operating hours divided by number of equipment failures. Where? Operating time is productive time plus production delays. And? Number of failures or breakdown events is the number of failures on an item of equipment or plant. MTBF measures the average time the equipment can operate before experiencing a failure, providing insights into equipment reliability. 9. Mean Time to Repair, MTTR MTTR measures the average time taken to repair equipment after a breakdown. Reducing MTTR is crucial for minimizing downtime and improving productivity. Formula MTTR equal to total downtime hours divided by number of equipment failures. Where Downtime is the total time equipment or plant is down for ma maintenance work, preventive and corrective. And Number of failures or breakdown events is the number of failures on an item of equipment or plant. MTTR measures the average time taken to repair equipment after a breakdown. Reducing MTTR helps minimize downtime. 10. Percent failures investigated. Measure of the maintenance department's effort to continuously improve. Formula. Failures investigated equal to number of corrective job tickets investigated divided by total number of corrective job tickets, asterisk 100. Where? Number of corrective job tickets investigated is the number of job tickets investigated, root cause found, and solutions investigated to prevent future occurrences. Job tickets that are associated with maintenance work performed on defects which caused equipment or plant to be taken out of service during scheduled operating time. And total number of corrective job tickets is the total number of job tickets associated with maintenance work performed on defects which caused equipment or plant to be taken out of service during scheduled operating time. 11. Overall Equipment Effectiveness, OE 
OE is a comprehensive KPI that considers equipment availability, performance efficiency, and quality output. It provides a holistic view of the equipment's performance. Formula OE equal to availability multiplied by performance efficiency multiplied by quality output. Where Availability equal to total available hours minus downtime hours divided by total available hours multiplied by 100. Performance efficiency equal to total output divided by theoretical maximum output per hour into total productive hours multiplied by 100. Quality output equal to total good units produced divided by total output multiplied by 100. OE provides a comprehensive view of equipment performance considering availability, productivity, and quality. 12. Op operator Efficiency This KPI evaluates the productivity and skill level of equipment operators, impacting the equipment's performance and fuel consumption. Operator efficiency can be measured in various ways, such as the number of units produced, or work completed, or fuel consumption per operator. 13. Safety Incidents, Lost Time Injury Frequency Rate Tracking the number of safety incidents related to the use of construction equipment helps identify potential hazards and improve safety protocols. This KPI tracks the number of safety incidents related to the use of construction equipment, such as accidents, near misses, or equipment misuse. Lost time injury frequency rate. LTIFR is a measure of overall safety performance and indicates the frequency of lost time injuries, LTIs. Formula. LTIFR equal to number of lost time injuries divided by total man hours multiplied by 10 lakh. Total man hours includes wages, staff and contractor hours associated with both production and maintenance operations. 14. Environmental impact. Assessing the environmental impact, such as emissions and noise levels, is important for sustainability and compliance with regulations. Track factors like emissions, CO2, NOx, noise levels, and fuel consumption to assess the equipment's environmental impact. Note. 1. KPIs track performance against established key success factors. 2. KPIs do not give answers, rather they raise questions and direct attention. 3. Every person on site has an influence on certain KPIs and business objectives. Remember that the choice of KPIs should align with the specific goals and objectives of the construction project, and regular monitoring and analysis of these metrics will help optimize construction equipment performance and project efficiency. Regularly monitoring these KPIs can help construction companies optimize equipment performance, minimize downtime, reduce costs, and improve overall project efficiency. Friends, we have explained in brief about key performance indicator about construction equipment. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comment section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Inframechanizer, this is 100% free.